Today in this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, we're going to look at a scribble effect as demonstrated in a Justin Bieber music video. Now, before I go on, I am aware that there's other videos on this, but in my opinion, they follow a really, really long-winded approach. So in my case, I'm going to do things really differently. This includes the use of a couple of extra tools and a small script that I've written. By the end of the tutorial, I'm sure you'll see the advantages of my approach. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. <laughs> Before we go any further, let's look at a short excerpt from a Justin Bieber video. This shows nicely the type of effect that we're aiming for. It looks a pretty cool effect, hey? But actually it's a really easy effect to achieve. All it consists of is a few stills drawn over a period of time. Here's an example of a number of stills that I captured from the video. So let's have a look how we're going to pull this effect off in Resolve. Here you can see I've got some sample footage dragged to the timeline of a guy skateboarding. And if we go back to the Justin Bieber example, where we worked out that the effect was just a number of stills drawn over time, we therefore need to work out how we can extract these stills from our video. Now, I've seen some pretty ridiculous suggestions on other videos, such as screen capture and things like that, which is just crazy. In fact, all we need to do is we go to the delivery page and make sure we select TIFF in the format box. We can now render out that video as an image sequence. Now that that's done, let's have a look at the individual image files that it created. You're now going to want to go ahead and download this fantastic little program called Irfan View. It's only a few megabytes and is extremely low on system resources. I've now been using this program for about 20 years and it possibly ranks amongst my most favourite programs of all time. It's mainly used as an image converter, although it now has some very, very useful editing tools which we're going to use. It's a Windows program, but it also works really well in Linux under Wine. So go ahead as well if you're on Linux. Another thing to mention is Earthen View is free and it definitely contains no spyware or other malware. So to get Earthen View, you're simply going to go to earthenview.com and then you're going to select which version you want, whether you're running a 32 bit or 64 bit operating system. The next thing we're going to do is to use a very simple auto hotkey script that I made. Don't worry if you've never heard of auto hotkey or are not into programming. It's a very simple script. All it does is when you press the F5 key, it automatically sends a save command to Earthan View and then triggers the right arrow key to move to the next image in the folder. It then triggers the F12 command which reloads the Earthan View Paint tools. Don't worry if you did not understand this, you will see what I mean in a minute. It just saves us an awful lot of time. If you download Auto Hotkey, you can just copy and paste the script, which I will put in the video description, to a notepad file. And then when saving, make sure you give the file the AHK extension. Alternatively, I've compiled this script to an .exe file so that you won't even need auto hotkey and can just click on the .exe to launch the script. If you want this .exe file, please let me know in the comment section and I will upload it to Dropbox or something like that. So to start the script, you simply double click on the exe file if you don't have auto hotkey on your system or you can double click on the script file if you do and when you double click on either of those you can see it running in the taskbar 
But before we can use our script, we just need to tweak a few settings in Irfan view. So we go to the folder where we rendered our TIFFED images to in Resolve and open the first file in the sequence. This will then launch Irfan view as long as we chose to associate all image files with Irfan view. Just remember to select this option when you install Irfan view. We then go to the options, properties and settings. And then we go to browsing, oblique editing. And we click do nothing. We then go to file handling and we untick display save dialog for file save menu and ask to overwrite file for save and save menu and click OK. Earthhand view should now be set up. We then press F12 to bring up the paint dialog. Make sure the brush is selected, the colour and the desired width of the brush. 5 is a good width. Now just scroll forward with your arrow keys on the keyboard. And I think we'll start drawing when the skateboard gets to the wall. That's fine. And just draw around the skateboard. Now press F5 and it will bring you to the next image. Now draw around again. Press F5 again, activating our script. And draw around the skateboard again. For each effect you're going for, you want to do it at least sort of three or four times and try and be consistent with it, otherwise it will look a bit weird. If you only say drew round the skateboard once or drew trail lines once, uh, you wouldn't notice it. It would just be so quick on the screen. And uh, we just keep going. There's a down arrow. Let's draw that a number of times. as I say, three or four times at least. That's had some other crazy effects, maybe a few lines around him. I'm just thinking back to the Justin Bieber video. And don't worry if it's slightly messy, as that's kind of the effect. Let's now draw round. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's the effect we're looking for, that messy sort of hand-drawn effect. It's up to you exactly what you do. Um, really, how artistic you are is the limit. But every time you draw, you come to the end, just make sure to press F5 again and that will automatically save and then move to the next image in the sequence. That's the beauty of our script. And it really does speed things up. We can then see, we can scroll back through the sequence by pressing the keyboard arrow keys the other way. And I think that looks quite cool, just for a very quick effect. So now you get the idea. I'm just going to press ahead and do some other random stuff and then we'll have a look at the result. Welcome back guys. This is what I did. Now let's scroll backwards and we can have a look at the whole effect all the way through. 
I think that's pretty cool for just 10 minutes or so of work. But if you have longer, I'm sure you can do something even better. But let's say we're happy with that. We just need to import our work into Resolve. The good news is Resolve makes this really easy. We simply go to the folder where all our images are and highlight all of the images. And then it will automatically be recognized as a sequence in Resolve and just show us one video track. I think we'll just add the accompanying audio and then preview the result. We could play around with this further, like changing the speed, as in the Justin Bieber clip, and do all sorts of different things. The limit really is your own artistic imagination. So go ahead and have a play about. Once again, thank you for watching this tutorial, and don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and let me know if there's anything else you would like to see. Thank you.